it is our plea and humble submission. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. And thank Amen. God. We will now have our morning hymn. God will take care of us. serve a God who take care of his children. Amen. Amen. We'll now have our scripture reading by Sister Diane, followed by our prayer by Deacon Keith Cyrus, and then our welcome by Sister Leslie Sierra. In that order, please. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, remnant family and friends. I will be reading 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I will be reading from First Peter chapter three, verse eight through fifteen in the New International Version. And it reads like this. Finally, all of you be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because of this, you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. For whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his eyes are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your heart, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. I have read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8 through 15, New International Version. The word is already blessed. It is a guiding light and a lamp unto our feet to spiritual growth, maturity, and freedom. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The word says we repay evil by continuing to do good. Yes. Praise God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to praise your name just one more time. The reverend yeah. said you looked over and yeah. you touched us with your finger of love. Praise God. And we had the activity of our arms and I our feet. Happy. Yes, Lord. Yeah. We had the faculty of speech. We had the happy. ability to happy. think, Heavenly Father. We thank you, happy. Lord. We thank you. We were able to open up our eyes and see the sun on this morning, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Heavenly Father, in the time we are praying for our women, Heavenly Father, for the little girls, Lord. We are praying for our sons, Heavenly Father. Uh, Lord, I know, uh, uh, I don't know what the answer is, Lord, but I, I, well, I know what the answer is not. The answer is not more. Uh, weapons and more Hi. violence the answer has to be more love more jesus more god yes. heavenly father we need we need more of you uh in our families more of you and more sunday mornings where we are talking yeah. about you and the goodness and the mercy heavenly father that you give us every yeah. second lord, of the yeah. day heavenly father we thank you lord we thank, thank you on this morning heavenly father we are so supremely grateful and thankful for how faithful you have been to us, Sorry, Heavenly Nana. Father. Yes, that is Nana. Yes, you hear. We thank you thank for you. my mother. Nana. Praise God. I thank you for all those Nana. that are assembled on the line this morning, Nana. Heavenly Father. I Nana. ask that whatever they are praying for, you give it to them, Heavenly Father, even now. Give it to Nana. them before they are able to finish their sentence or their Nana. question, Nana. Heavenly Father. Answer Nana. any question Nana. that is stirring up their heart, <laughs> Heavenly Father. Any answer that is uh, give them peace heavenly father if that is what they seek for give them healing give them wholeness Amen. heavenly father give them the perfect result for that which they seek heavenly father because we know that you are a good god heavenly father and you only give us what is good for us heavenly father so we thank you lord we thank, thank you and whatever it is that you require from us heavenly father we are your humble servants we seek and we give your we give our bodies as vessels to you on this morning heavenly father we recommit heavenly father to 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 the assignment you have given us as christians to help uh, the
the kingdom to help our brothers and our sisters, Heavenly Father, and to help build it up, Lord. We thank you on this morning, Lord. We ask that you bless our uh, our our servant leader. Give him a word, <laughs> Heavenly Father, that will prop us up on every leaning side, Heavenly Father. We ask that you fill him with the Holy Ghost. Give him strength so yeah. yeah. he can prepare and deliver yes. this message, Lord. Heavenly yes. Father. Allow him to continue going through these streets, Heavenly Father, and blessing those thank and giving them yes. a word, Heavenly yes. Father, uh, expanding his territory heavenly father we thank you lord for these things we ask this in the name of your son jesus christ match with amen thank god amen 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 good morning good morning feliz domingo Feliz Domingo. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Just want to reach out to everyone and just yes. say happy Sunday and say that you are welcome you. here. Welcome to the Remnant Family Worship Center. We are so happy to have you. And if you're this is your first time here. Let me just reach out and tell you welcome. We're so glad to have you and we hope that you come back. And for those that are here on usually on Sunday, you are welcome too. You know, sometimes you need to feel welcome in your own house. <laughs> yes. Not yes. only in somebody else's house, but you need right. to feel welcome in your own house. So I'm reaching yes. out to you and telling you, you are welcome. You are loved, you are respected, and we want to have you back again. So welcome, 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 and again, Feliz Domingo. Amen, amen. I want to thank our uh, brother Deacon Keith Cyrus, Miss Fred, Sister Willis for the scripture, and Sister Leslie for her welcome. If you don't feel welcome, she's always just so bubbly. <laughs> awesome at giving us a welcome. Go to Acts. I was keeping us Brenda Cyrus to come with her selection at this time. Good morning, all. Good this morning. 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 This song Good really morning. fills my spirit, and I hope you enjoy it yourselves. Just give me a minute to get myself together. Joys are flowing like a river since the comforter has come. He abides with us forever, makes the trusting heart his own. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul. On the stormy seas, he speaks peace to me. All the billows cease to roll. Bringing life and health and gladness. All around this heavenly guest, banish unbelief and sadness, change our weariness to rest. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul. On the stormy seas, he speaks peace to me and the billows cease to roll. 
Like the rain that falls from heaven, like the sunlight from the sky, so the Holy Ghost is given, coming on us from on high. See a fruitful field is growing, blessed root of righteousness, and the stream of life are flowing in the lonely wilderness. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul on the stormy seas he speaks peace to me and the billows cease to roll blessed quietness Holy quietness, what assurance in my soul on the stormy seas, Jesus comes to me and the billows. To Amen. 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 Blessed quietness, holy quietness. There's something about the quiet that's in that. Yes. That we can yeah. hear and commune with God. Sometimes it's awesome just to shut away, turn off your phones and computer technology, and just mm -hmm. commune with the Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you. Now this Thank is you. part of the worship experience where we all mm -hmm. can contribute. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And so Thank you. Beloved, the Thank reason you. why this ministry flourished so much is the gifts we receive from each and every one of you. Holy to your name, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 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 Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Look right to your name. Amen. Amen. We bless God for what he has done for us and continue to do ways to be a blessing to the Remnant Family Worship Center is you can give via Cash App, Remnant Family, WC, or go to the Givelify app. Search the Remnant Family Worship Center. Look for our seal, the logo. You can give. We have been a blessing to many people because of the donations we receive from each and every one of you. We say thank you. We provide mm -hmm. clothes. We provide uh, 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 food. Uh, we help support people that's in shelters get back on their feet. We are a ministry that believe in blessing God's people. This is why we do not lack for anything because we are sowing, we are giving back and we are doing what God has commanded us to do. The Bible says, bring you all the time to the storehouse of shall be meet in my house and pull me now, we'll send blood of hopes. If I would open up the windows of heaven and pull you out of blessing, you shall not have room enough to receive. We are all blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Thank you for helping us be a blessing to the many.
that are in need across our city. Amen. By way of announcement, join us every uh, weekday morning for prayer and devotion. We call it our morning manner. We start our day in prayer and we call the names of everyone that we know of that are sick and shut in. We call the names every single morning at the 7.30 a.m. hour. You can call in at 399-209-4712. Meet us in the morning. There is a word from the Lord. There is power in prayer. Then every Tuesday, meet us for prayer and Bible study. We expound on God's word. And then we continue in our prayer knowing that prayer changes things and God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Then beloved, we want you to join us. That's on the same Zoom that you are now. Then join us for our midday, midweek recharge, our noonday prayer on Wednesdays at 12 noon. We gather together for a brief midday mid-charge, about 15 minutes. That number again is 399-209-4712. Amen. Then we actually save the date. I should have the more information this week about uh, our location and venue. Amen. We are working to make everything in order for September 3rd for the pastoral installation. Amen. We're going to gather and have a high time yeah. in the Lord as God has brought elevation to the house. Amen. Yeah. Please govern yourselves accordingly. I will be sending out an email of our document that we need to review. Amen. I think we just sent it this week. So after worship, I'll send an email for our final corrections before we continue to do what we has to do. Please remember to pray for our sick, shudder, and bereave. If you know someone that's in need of prayer, you know someone that's in need, period. Let me rephrase that. Give our office a call, 646-287-8972. You can call, you can text, you can email the remnant fwc at gmail.com. You can inbox it on Facebook. Just let us know what's going on. And we will surely add them to our prayer list. We will try our best to give them or get them the resources that they need. For that is our assignment to see a need and meet it. Please govern yourself accordingly, beloved. It's preaching time. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. We've come to hear what God has to say to his church. How can they hear? unless there be a preacher, amen. amen. So after our sermonic selection, I'll come back and give you a word from the Lord. Amen. I've had some good days. Yes. <laughs> and I've had some heels to climb. Mm. Oh. I've had some weary days. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Some sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when I Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I think over. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. All of my good days. Good day, yes. Good days, yes, yes. I'll wait. Yes, yes. I won't complain. I won't complain. Don't complain. I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low. Yes. 
I could hardly see the road, but I had to ask the question, Lord, Lord, why yes. so much yes. pain? Yes, yes, yes. But he, he knows what's best for me. Yes. Although my weary eyes, they cannot see. So I, yes. Yeah. I'll say thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. I've been lying on. Yes. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lord. I've been talked about it. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes, yes. Yeah, Has it been good yeah. to anybody? Yes. Yeah. He been good to me. Yes, Lord. Instead of complaining, I lift my hands and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Somebody Lord. Somebody ought to say, Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Right. Thank, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. I won't yes, complain. Lord. Yes. I won't yes. complain. Yes. I won't complain. Yes, yes. I could, yes. but I won't. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Don't complain. I won't complain. I won't complain. Oh Lord, I won't complain. I won't complain. I won't complain. Yeah. I won't complain. I won't complain. Yeah. I won't complain. Yeah. I know it's rough, but I still won't complain. I, I won't complain. Wait, no. Leap in peace, Roberta. Yes. Uh, I didn't I come to tickle nobody thing, fancy. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't come to mm. sing pretty for nobody. Mm. Yeah. But if you know that you could have mm. been dead, matter of fact, should have been. I should have been mm. dead. My oh, God. But I won't complain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I won't complain. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. I yes. won't complain. I won't complain. Mm. I, yes. I won't complain. All right. I won't complain. Lift your hands and just say, I won't complain. Mm-hmm. I, I won't complain. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I could, but I won't. Yes. I won't complain. Yes, what? I've had some mm. good days. Mm. Oh, God. Consecrate you now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope. 
in my will be lost in thine. Father God, once again, we simply come to say thank you. God, we don't come complaining, but we come lifting up our hands and simply say thank you. Thank you. you have been so good and so kind unto us. So yes. now, and Father, as we come to the sacred hour of preachment, God, we simply pray that you do it again. Send the anointing, send the power, send the strength. Yes. It can seem kind of easy. God, hide me behind the order of the cross. The Father, these aren't my words, but your words. These aren't my thoughts, but your thoughts. So God, do it again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Prophet Amen. Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse number one. Jeremiah. Chapter 16, we'll commence reading at first number one. Reading from the International Virgin, so it's different, maybe different from yours. I was even on the screen, but as long as the book says Holy Bible, we're in the same book. Verse number one, this is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house and I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house and I saw him working at the wheel, but the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hand. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seems best to him. Verse number five, then the word of the Lord came to me he said, can I not do with you, Israel, as this potter does, declares the Lord, like the clay in the hands of the potter, so are you in my hands. Uh, the scripture, I want to talk from the thought, if you will, for the next few moments, I have your attention, broken to be made whole broken to be made whole. A few days ago, I was sitting in the office contemplating on what the Lord would have me to share with you on today. I had a busy few days and, and, and decided that I'll call a good friend of mine and ask her if she will consent to minister this morning in my stead. Boldly a little bit of an attitude told me no. And then after she told me no, she begins to minister to me about what's going on inside our society about being broken. I'm sitting on the bed at this point and I'm scratching my head. I said, this is why I like you. I said, we're good friends and we go way back, but, but, but whenever... I'm wrestling with the word and I call you, God has a way of confirming everything through you. I told her the Lord was dealing with me with this particular scripture in Jeremiah, talking about the potter and the clay. And she begins to give the revelation that God has given her. And as she was speaking, it was confirming everything God had already told me to prepare for this moment we have here today. Beloved, I come to tell you that our country is broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, when, when, when driving fast, no longer is a ticket or point to your license and a driver of uh, assessment fee, but now 90 bullets, 60 entering in a body, something <clears throat> is broken. I was on the highway yesterday and, and as I'm driving and, and those of you who know me, you know, pray for me. Uh, uh, Pastor got a lead foot and I seen the car get up around the 80 range and, mm -hmm. my heart and to think about the young man who was driving fast on the highway yes. in, in, in uh, uh, Akron and Akron Police Department decided to not just to pull him over, but shoot him. Mm -hmm. not and, and our system, our government 
our cities are broken 90 times as this man is shot, uh, Jalen Walker, 25 years old, 60 bullets entering his body. Our system is broken. Broken, yes. It's broken, it's broken. If you as Christians and, and the, and the so-called call, the elect of God, and, and, and we find ourselves being disrespectful, shunning, and condemning a class of people in the name of Christ, beloved, the, the church is now broken. Yes, yes. When the hospital is no longer a safe haven where sinners can come in and, as messed up as they are and receive a word in love and get cleaned up uh, the way without being outcast, ostracized, criticized, talked about, and sent to hell. Beloved, we are broken. Okay. Can I pause right here and tell you that just yes. because someone sinned differently than we do, it's not our job to send them to hell. Last hour check, we don't have a hell to send anyone to or hell to, or heaven to put anybody in. We right. have all sin and fall short of the yes. glory of God. But yes, sir. we yes, sir. are broken. Yes. On Wednesday. Yes. A good friend of mine, she usually sings, uh, I send the recording of her singing for us, good friend. Uh, her church had a service and it sent Facebook in the uproar. Mm. The title of the service was LGBTQ plus <laughs> comes to church. <laughs> I know that's a customer. I done lost a uh, half of y'all right there. Uh, we, we don't we don't want homosexuals in church. The gays can't come and worship God. I, I know that's what you think. And you know, uh, 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 preachers for years have preached condemnation. We point out their sin and condemn them to hell, mm -hmm. but never give them the process of being saved, set free, or delivered. Amen. Amen. On this. Amen. Uh, 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 Tuesday after next, bless God. There's a difference between condemning and convicting. The public service announcement had to do the same thing that this pastor did in no way, shape, form, or fashion. That the Remnant Family Worship Center Incorporated is LGBTQ plus or whatever other letters is behind the name. <laughs> Just some more. We are a, a Bible believing, true Word of God church. Amen. Yeah. However, yeah. if you are LGBTQ, whatever other letter you are, if you are a whole a prostitute, the whole monger, the street walker, you are welcome here. Amen. Come on, Come Come on, on now. now. Say it again. Your sin. But the truth be told, if you do some of the stuff I did, it disqualifies me. But beloved, we have to understand the difference between condemning and convicting. To All condemn right. means I, I went to the dictionary to declare a reprehensible wrong or evil, usually after weighing evidence without any reservation. That's to condemn somebody. To convict mm -hmm. somebody is the act or the process of finding a person guilty of a crime, especially in a court of law. Okay. Spend so much yes. time yes. condemning people instead of preaching God's word to convict people. It is mm -hmm. not my job as the pastor to condemn anybody. It's my job is to preach the word of God in love that God will convict you. Yes. Uh huh. We love yes. to, we love to quote this that 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 uh, uh, homosexuality is an abomination. The Lord hates it, but we tend to forget the Sunday school scripture that I learned. Over 20 some odd years ago in the book of John, around the third chapter, the 15th, I mean the 16th and 17th verse that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But Come verse 17, what we often forget, for God yes. sent out his son to do what? Condemn the world, but yes. through him the world might be saved. So if God is not condemning people, who in the world are we to condemn? See? That's right. I, I get so, so it troubles my spirit 
that we condemn people because they sin differently than us. And, and we say it's an abomination. They're not supposed to be here. The devil is a liar. If, if, if he is not supposed to be here as a homosexual, Amen. He, as a lesbian, beloved, you can't be here either because you're a liar. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back to the word, get back to the book. Amen. Well, teach this in Bible study. There, there, there are over 60 things recorded in the Bible that's an abomination. Mm -hmm. Abomination things the Lord hates. But we only magnify homosexuality. Why? Because the church is broken. We don't want nothing to do with them. But yet the Bibles we read, you know the one that everyone has in the even in the hotel room that says the King James Version? Can, yes. can, I, can I bust your bubble and let you know that King James, the one that put it together, was a homosexual? Come on now. Listen to the most of the musicians are homosexual. The, the fashionistas that the clothes that that we wear and we put together a homosexual. Can I go a step further and tell you that the simple outfit that most of us are wearing on today, because the Bible tells us that we're not supposed to wear two fabrics of mix. So if you're wearing silk, you gotta wear all silk, but you can't milk <laughs> silk and cotton. That's an abomination. Beloved, we are broken. Yes. It is my job as the preacher, the pastor, Oh, and, and the preacher of this gospel to share the word with you in love that will bring conviction and not condemn you because I have to give you the gift of offer you the gift of salvation. There is no greater sin than the other. Let us not condemn people but show love that will convict someone. I don't believe me, first Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 9, my favorite scripture, know you not that unrighteous uh, not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, adulterers, uh, idolers, uh, and fame, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor coverters, nor drunkards, nor revealers, nor exalters, uh, extortioners, excuse me, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 11, which I love, my favorite scripture that makes me shout. It said, and such were some of you, but ye have been washed. He have been sanctified. He have been justified in the name of the Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And by the spirit of our God, we have been baptized along with the same. Yeah. Beloved, we all had sin and fall short. Yeah. But we right. have been washed. You have to offer the ability for people to be washed and changed. You can't condemn yeah. them to hell without giving them something they can change to. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stop condemning God's people and just preach the gospel in love and the word will convict them that's right and help Boy, them yeah. let me cut across the field spending too much time it's holiday weekend we got the barbecues to get to uh -huh. i know <laughs> i know that that, that that me as a man it's not good to say it's not uh, manly to say that I'm broken and you know, we are strong black women and it, it, it's, it's not, it shows a weakness to say that we're broken, but beloved, the system of this world, the systems in some of our churches, we are broken. I know, I know you have been let go from your job that you love to work on for the past 10 years. I, I, I know he said that he loved you and, and, and you're his world and y'all went half on the baby. I, I, I know she said, I know she told you that she'll always be by your side. She loves you. She's your bride. And that I know, I know y'all took a vow just on the altar before family and friends and, and now y'all broke up and you're sitting home eating your pint of Hagen Dad's ice cream and listening to Neo <laughs> saying, I got to change. My answering machine now that I'm alone because right now it says that we can't come to the phone. Don't act like all oh, you listen to is Shirley Caesar and Fred Hammond. I know, I know you're going through that your heart broken, that 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 your life has been broken, that your spirit has been broken, that that that, yeah. that you're broken on your job, you're broken in your family, 
You're broken even in church. I stopped by to tell you this morning that you have been broken to made whole. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Broken to be made whole. The Bible says Jeremiah receives a word from the Lord telling him to go down to the potter's house. He gets down to the potter's house and he sees the potter sitting at the wheel. The potter is working on a, a masterpiece and he notices that it has some blemishes. He notice what he's working on isn't coming out right. He, he noticed that it's some cracks in the clay. He noticed, the Bible says, that the clay is marred. The mm -hmm. potter, the creator, has his hands on the clay and is working it and spinning the wheel. But he notices that there are a handicap in this clay. Mm. The potter then take his foot off the pedal to stop the wheel from spinning. Uh -huh. And he begins to add water to wet the clay. And instead of discarding the clay, begin to stop the process of creating the masterpiece all over again. Mm. Now, I have to shout. I know we on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, and 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 and, and, and everything, but but that was the shouting point of the message. You missed it. Yeah. Let me try to come down your road and, and highlight. All right, it. all right. Uh -huh. The potter sees that you are a fornicator. The potter sees that you are homosexual. The potter sees that you are a liar. The potter sees that you are a sinner. The potter sees that you are heartbroken. The potter sees that you got sickness in your body. The potter sees that you've been broken. The potter sees that you're broke, busted, and disgusted. But instead of throwing you away, what the potter yeah. do is take his foot off the pedal because Isaiah 66 says uh. that heaven is his throne and earth is his footstool. He he took his foot off the yeah. pedal, stop yeah. things from spinning, making you dizzy and going around in circles. And, and he added some water to it. The Bible <laughs> says that when they pierced him in the side, that blood and water came streaming down and and God, he took that water yes, out of yes. to your life and he didn't destroy you, but he All right. you over again. Jeez, when you look at me now, you don't yes. see the hell I've been through. You don't see the mess yes. I've done. You don't see the sins I've committed, but I'm All so right, happy man. thank be yes. unto God that he gave me beauty for ashes. Can I stop by this yes. morning to tell yes. someone on this 4th of July weekend that, yeah. that, that God is so good that he can take your message yes. into yes. a message. They God settled. is so good. He Come can take now. your handicap and turn it into a blessing. God yeah. is so good Three. that he can Three. take all the junk in your life and make it into a masterpiece. Yeah. I am so happy that a blessing the lead is not a blessing denied. What's talking about, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. It may be a process to have to go through. I may be on the potter's wheel a little bit longer than you. I may yes. sin a little bit differently than you. But thanks be unto God. What Preach is the God word? Preach the word. Sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make yeah. me whole again? Oh, Nothing man. but the blood of all oh, our yeah. practice is the yeah. flow that makes me yeah. whole than so. There's no other fountain I know. There's nothing but the blood of Jesus. Lord, you Lord, are the potter, the and I am the clay. Move Absolutely. And take me in my own way. This is yeah. my humble plea. Lord, that mm. strengthened me. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Oh, God. To strengthen us. All this has. Yes. That's it. We need God to make us over again. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. All over again, mm -hmm. because we are broken. Absolutely, we mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. We've been mm -hmm. abused and abused. Mm -hmm. and we have been broken. Oh, Say yeah. something. Say, Say something. something. Yes. That God, in His infinite wisdom, 
in his infinite wisdom. God being all powerful. That's right. That's and right. God being omniscient. Yes. That's right. Yes. God being omnipotent. Go ahead That's now. It. Go ahead now. God is the potter. Yes. Yes. That. That is so often. He may have to put us on our bed of affliction. He may have mm -hmm. to lay us down for a second. That's right. But he puts us on the hey, kobasha. Yes, Lord. He puts us yes. on the potter's wheel. Oh, glory. I feel yes. what's going on. My God. My and when God. he puts us the on potter's the wheel. potter's wheel, it may seem like our life is mm. turning in circles and we are getting mm. busy going crazy. Huh. But beloved, when we come out, yes, shout out of my house. Yes, right now. Because we've been tried in the fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. we come out and still go. You're yes. going. No, yes. today. You're going. He is the potter. No, that's yes. And I am the clay. Yes. That he can mold me. Yep. All right. Me. Yes. Yes. Part of the story. Yes, Lord. An old preacher will come up down south and had a revival. The old preacher put up a big tent and have a tent revival in New York City in one of the roughest part of town. Violence everywhere, drugs running rampant. Y'all remember we used to do tent revivals in Mount Sinai and the whole house was across the street, drug house on the corner. Yes, yes. We had tent revivals and souls would come and be saved. And, 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 and week after week, this, this old preacher had this tent revival and souls was coming. People were giving their life to Christ. Drug dealers were giving their life to Christ. Drug addicts was being saved, set free. Pimps was giving their life to Christ. And everyone was being saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Meanwhile, the gangs were getting furious because the money wasn't coming in right. And the gang noticed there was a shortage of his money. Uh, he sent his goons out to figure out why is it that my money is coming up short? How are you? I'm, I'm supplying the same amount of drugs. Uh, I'm putting that, 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 that white girl out there. I got that, I got the exotics on the street, but, but I'm not getting my return in my money. The guys came back and Tennis said, there's a preacher over there yeah. in bed style. Yeah. It having church and the drug dealers are are going to the service and becoming deacons and the drug addicts are getting cleaned up and they don't mm -hmm. want to no more. The prostitutes are becoming missionaries and this is why there's a shortage on your money. The head of the gang said, listen, this man is causing me some problems. Somebody go get Ricky mm -hmm. on the phone and, and, and tell him that I put 30 stacks on his head. I, I need him gone. He's causing a problem in my business. Word mm -hmm. got around that there's thirty thousand dollars for the life of this here old preacher. The preacher kept going week after week, preaching, and more people from the community are being saved, and the revival is getting huge. And now they find him, and the hitman shows up to service. He tells the man. The preacher, don't preach tonight. There's a hit man coming to take you out. Please don't preach. I heard they're going to shoot you in the pulpit. The preacher said, I'll be all right. Thank you for the information. Service time come. Preacher, get in the pulpit and begin to preach. The Lord is my shepherd. I, uh -huh. shepherd I want. He uh -huh. said, He's good and goodness shall follow you all the days of your life. The preachers are preaching. He said, grace and mercy is on my side. I'm right here. The preacher, is preacher Ricky, was set up in the back of the service, had him in the scope. Ricky couldn't get a clear shot to shoot him. He said, all right, I'm going to get him on the way home. 
Ricky showed up again, trying to get a good shot to take this old preacher out. Ricky couldn't get shot. Ricky followed him down the alleyway, was about to approach him. Ricky couldn't get a good shot, get a sight on him good enough to take him out. Ricky gets frustrated, goes back to the head of the game, give him back the $30,000 and said, I can't do it. I can't take this man out. They look at me like crazy. Ricky goes to the preacher's house and, and he said, listen, preacher, I got to ask you something. Who is that man? He said, preacher said, what man are you talking about? He said, listen, I'm an assassin. I kill people for a living. Mm -hmm. I don't think twice about it. I have no feelings about killing whoever they pay me to kill. But every time I got you in my school, a man stood up in front of you. I was at the service and you were <laughs> up preaching. I had a clear shot, but just about to pull the trigger, a man stood up in front of you. You were mm. walking down the alley on the way home. I had you right in the back of the head, just as about to pull the trigger, a man stood up behind you. Uh, I, every uh, time uh, I was about to pull the trigger, a man stood up. Oh, yes, man. Yes. Beloved, I walked home every night by myself from revival. I walked to that same alley every day by myself uh, 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 from revival. Can you describe this man to me? <laughs> Ricky said this man had hair on his head as thick as wool. Mm, his eyes, all right, his, all right. his eyes was as blazing fire. The old preacher looked at Ricky and said, that sounds like my powder. That sounds like the rose mm -hmm. of the earth. That sounds yeah. like El Shaddai. That sounds like my lily of the valley. My bright and morning star, that sounds like my Jehovah Jireh, my provider, that yeah. sounds like my protector, my angelic body, God. That sounds like my Jesus. That's all I came to tell you today, that you may be broken, you may be a homosexual, you may be a fornicator, you may be an adulterer, you may be a liar, you may be a cheater, but you have an angelic body, God. That even when the Satan himself tries to kill you, he is no defense. He has no power over God because God so loved the world that he gave mm. his only begotten son that who shall right. believe in him shall not power, but have everlasting mm -hmm. life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. I stopped by to tell somebody here on Zoom okay. or Facebook. On, on, on uh, YouTube that you can change if you want. I come offer you a God that loves you in spite of, yes, he hates your sin, but he loved you enough that he died on the cross for you. That beloved, yes, if you yes. stick around him long enough, yes, it's something called yes. the Holy Ghost that will indwell inside right. of you. And the Holy Ghost will convict you and cause you to change. So mm. what? You messed up. So what? You made mistakes. Yes, I know. I know you was out there shaking it and dropping like it. I know that you <laughs> dropped that in Red Bull. Yes, you rolled up them exotics. Yes, you love that purple haze. Yes, it's 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 okay. We all have sinned, but I come this morning. Yes, oh, yes. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I can't. Preaching out my row. You preaching out my row. But I have to <laughs> offer you a yeah. sin. I can't say that you're going to live everlasting life in the mm -hmm. fire pits of hell because I have no hell to send you to. That's because right. Because truth be told, I'm a sinner just as you are. Yeah, My man. thoughts cause me to sin. My actions, the places I've gone, I'm anointed by God. But yeah, can I pause right here and tell you this? It's in yes. the book that the gift comes without repentance. Every disciple, every apostle in the Bible yes, yes. had an issue in sin. Mm. God still used them. Mm -hmm. There isn't anyone in this world that God cannot use. All right. So let okay. me be the one to tell you as I close this message, I'm over time, certainly not a word, 
that if you are a homosexual, and then I'm going to tell you this the most churches, but God can still use you. Yes, yes. But God can still change your life. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. you are fornicated, adulterer, that God can still use you. There's a scripture that says that if you get divorced, you're not supposed to remarry. That's right. Some of us are not third and fourth wives. Some of us had numerous. You remember the woman at the well? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to preach that next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you're not married, and the one you are now ain't your husband. Mm -hmm. Stop being so quick to condemn people. Come on the now. The Lord. Yes. Come on, Pastor. Mm. God didn't condemn you for your sin. What All right. Is you so special that mm. you can sin and God can still use you, but they can't sin and God yes. can still use them. How is the church only for you and your sins, but not for them and theirs? Come on now. At the cross for everyone. That's right. God save me and yes. my mess. Yes. God can anoint me. Help me save me and mine. Yes. If God can anoint me the pastor, some uh, people and the stuff I did. Come on now. Morality ain't nothing. <laughs> Beloved. Love everybody. Yes. Love yeah. everybody. The thing I yeah. love to say, I was in Walmart yesterday and, and it dropped in my spirit. I was in the, the fishing. Now, I want to go fishing. But but when I go to the fish market, I pick out the fish that I want. I go get me a nice piece of salmon, a nice piece of basa. But after I pick out the fish, I give it to the fisherman and tell him to clean it. That's too messy for me. You can <laughs> sell everywhere skilling fish. That's not my job. But the man in the fish market, that's his job to clean the fish. That's right. Mm. That's right. It's my job to be the fisher of men. Amen. Fisher, All right. But just to be the yeah. fisher. Mm -hmm. So I mm. preach, and my bait to catch the fish is the word of God. Once the fish yes. is caught, I give them to God to do the cleaning. And then God, Hallelujah. for me to educate, for me to train, and me to send out to do the work. Uh -huh. That is the job of a pastor to see a person, recommend them to Jesus, help them along the way, then send them out to do the work of the Father. But let me mm -hmm. someone here today that's, that's outside the ark of safety. You can be a homosexual. You can be a fornicator. You can be an adulterer. You can do whatever sin that you think that you're big and bad enough to do. Well, beloved, I come today and offer you the one that can save you, that can change your entire life. Beloved, I come offering you Jesus. He's the mm. lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. Yes. That yes. he can put you back on the potter's wheel and make you over again. Over again. How can I access this potter? It's as simple as ABC. First, you have to admit that you are a sinner. Yes, you, as anointed as you are, as powerful you are, as holy as you think you are, you, you're a sinner. Yeah. Yes. You have to believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Mm. And Jesus is Lord. Do you have to confess with your mouth, make a public statement that Jesus is Lord? Yes. If you did them simple ABCs, congratulations to make the best decision of your life. Do me a favor. Let's pray together. Repeat this after me, dear Lord Jesus. I mm. know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. But you rose again with yeah. all power in your hands. That God, when you died on the cross, that you shed that precious blood 
And the scripture says, without the shedding of blood, there'd be no remission of sin. So we thank you for the blood. Now, mm. I, Father, I invite you into my heart and to take charge of my life. Yes. I confess you as my Lord and Savior mm. and follow you as my God. In Jesus' name, Jesus we pray. Name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with us, Amen. you are now saved. God is going to put you on the potter's wheel Amen. and take your brokenness and make you whole. Amen. Scripture reminds you of a woman who had an issue of blood. She was broken and bleeding 12 long years. She came up on Jesus, touched the hem of his garment, the zitzit to in his robe. The Bible says she looked at her and said, Woman, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. That's all we come to tell you today is that your faith can make you whole. If you have done your ABCs, if you have prayed this prayer, and you have faith in God, you can be, you were once broken, but now you are made whole. You're going from being bitter to being better. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Well, beloved, I said something in my message that's a good segue into this next. Uh, part that I want to do right now. I said that it's my job as the man of God, the, the set man of this particular branch of Zion, that when we uh, 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 go fishing for people, that we give them God, to God, that God clean them up and give them the download of the anointing we need. And then God send them back to the branch of Zion and download it into the pastor to send them out and commission them to do the will of God in the office that they have been called in. Well, beloved, I saw this to say, we have an uh, elevation on this morning. There is a person who has been dedicated to ministry, who have worked tirelessly since we first began as a prayer group, that there is never nothing that goes on that, that she don't have her hands in and hasn't been praying for and hasn't been uh, uh, seeking help and, and trying to supply resources for. It. So, beloved, it's uh, uh, an honor and a privilege on this morning that I write a letter of appointment to whom all these presents shall come by the mercies of God. With an eye single to his glory, I, the Reverend Calvin A. Chandler, senior pastor of the Remnant Family Worship Center, along with the Board of Elders of the above-named body, do hereby appoint Deaconess Brenda Cyrus to the Office of Missionary in Training of the Amen. Amen. All right. All right now. All to ministry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ministry gift. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, we do set her apart for this work of presbytery office through the sacraments of holy orders. As such, we encourage her to continually seek God's face, inspiring mm. his will more than ever before, committing herself to the daily reading of holy scriptures, fervent mm -hmm. and sexual prayer. Discipline study for greater revelation demonstrated, committed to leadership, the ability to lead and living a life of holiness all Amen. this season of preparation. Hereafter, she shall be referred to as missionary in training Brenda Cyrus until Amen. service of consecration within the Grimmett Family Worship Center Incorporated. Mm -hmm. This whereof I have where to set my hand and call the seal of the church to be affixed on this 30th day of June in the year of our Lord 2022. We are so uh, excited and delighted. Nice. Wonderful. Beautiful. Amen. Brenda Amen. Beautiful. We are humble. Well deserved. Yes, indeed. To go 
to the highways and byways, and to the sick and shunning, to pray and to provide the resources for all those who are in need. So no greater honor in his mind to bestow something on someone so well deserving. Mm -hmm. We had a meeting on Wednesday night, Thursday night, where we made this proclamation and now we've made it publicly. Mm -hmm. From this point forward, she is now missionary in training, Brenda Cyrus. Amen. 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 I can't reach it right now. Print All it. right. It will be signed. It's, you see, both my seal is affixed. The church's seal is affixed to it. This is a legal document. It is presented to a woman who is worthy. A woman, the Bible says, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of a double honor. Especially those who labor in the work and the doctrine. Amen. 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 Training. Deaconess. I mean, excuse me, Mister Missionary <laughs> Training. Brenda Sarah. Amen. Sister Brenda. Amen. Yes. Have some words for us on today. Read us. <laughs> Good morning again, everyone. I, I'm just as humble as I can be. Um, thank nice. you Deb, for thinking of me as this title. Thank you so much. Now, everyone that's available, I will see you on Tuesday night, hopefully. We will have <laughs> Bible study. I will be the one to give your lesson. So please come on Tuesday night and I will see you there. That will be at 8 o'clock, but then we will have prayer at 8.30. So if oh, you can oh, go, all right. that would be just great. Thank you again, Amen. everyone. I love you all. Love you back. Beautiful. Amen. 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 Beautiful, Brenda. Beautiful. Wonderful. God bless you. All right, Queen. Wow. We see you. We see you, Queen. God has worked. You go, out. girl. Perfect. <laughs> we have a leadership training on Tuesday. So I wasn't available. Uh, Minister Gail has a class, and Sister Yvonne is on a retreat. The Lord said, Call Brenda. I said, All right. I called and so I called, I texted, excuse me, and she said yes. I said, all right, she, this before she even knew about her elevation. And it was just her willingness to serve. It's her mm. willingness to go above and beyond taking buses. And listen, if you missed the bus, the last bus going to her house, you had to walk 12 blocks. <laughs> mm -hmm. so and no matter how late it is, she's out there, she can't get a sister ride. She makes it do what it do. So we, as the Remnant family, has a special gift for her. We have her certificates. I got the big one to put on the wall. <laughs> nice and big is what. Excellent. I buy something enough. Hey, Amen. I have to go. All right. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. 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 God, we thank you. What our eyes have seen, our ears have heard. We thank you for the life and the ministry of missionary and training, Brenda Cyrus. God, we thank yes. you for all she do to build your kingdom, for all she do as she represents not only you, God, but as she represents the Remnant Family Worship Center. Thank yes. you yes. for killing willing workers that's ready, willing, and able to just do with us, says the Lord. Now, kind Father, we pray a double blessing upon her life, that as you even set her apart this day for this new work, for this new office, God, we understand that although she goes higher, there's even bigger demons she will face, but God, give her the strength, give her the boldness, give her everything she needs that will equip her to yes. get the assignment yes. for her. Strengthen her now 
strengthen her mind, strengthen her body in the mighty majestic name of Jesus. Now, kind Father, the everyone connected to this Reverend Family Worship Center, touch these here, your people. God, heal their bodies. God, yes. heal us back on the potter's will and make us over again. God, we don't pray just for a healing, God, but we pray that you make us whole. Because if, yes. if, we, if we are made whole, God, we know that we can make it. Because there is strength in being whole. Yes. Now unto him, the right. sun to rule by day and the moon to rule by night. So the only wise God, our Savior, be all glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. And we've all said, This Amen. young man Amen. is just a remarkable young man. Amen. A wonderful service. Mm -hmm. And I want him to sing, but I'm sorry. Hugs and kisses, to kisses to everyone. Back to you, brother. Once and never. <laughs> once and never, he's undesired. <laughs> oh, to you, Lord, my will I give to you. Lord, I'll do what you say.
Amen. Amen. Everyone have a safe 4th of Amen. July. Be blessed, encouraged, and expect greater, knowing that God has greater in store for you. Amen.